Oh my god, this this window is really, really gonna be so exciting. Well, we got some unnecessary news regarding William Saliba to discuss about. <clears throat> more update and more are, uh, confirmations about Gabriel Jesus' deal to Arsenal getting done. As Arsenal fans, you gotta be super excited because the next one to be on the line to get the done deal is Rafinha. Why do I say that? Because I want to? No, not just because I want to, but because some reliable sources are actually saying that Ra Spurs are actually going for Richarlison and Chelsea are not going in for Rafinha as well. So there's only one club that is supremely interested and are desperate to pay the amount and sign Rafinha as of now. So we're going to talk about that in this episode. If you see daily Arsenal content, the best place to be, consider subscribing. What are you thinking, bro? What are you thinking? This transfer window is upon us. You just can't be talking and thinking like, should I subscribe to this channel? Yes, you should, dumbass. Anyways, anyways, so uh, first of all, I do not understand this news, but yes, let's talk about it. So according to uh, Sempre Milan, uh, they say that AC Milan have Arsenal defender on their wish list and they are ready to bid around 30 million euros. Actually, actually, as I already reported it before as well, that Marseille are readying a bid of 26 million pounds, which is roughly around 30 million euros or 25.8 million pounds or 30 million euros to sign William Saliba from Arsenal on a permanent basis. They believe that they can get the job done. So, Arsenal do not even want to think about, you know, Arsenal have made it clear that, no, get out, get out of, get out of my sight. But more importantly now, AC Milan think that, okay, if 30 million euros is the, is, is the price tag that we need to, overcome or probably would, would should be spending more than a little more than that so that we could try to get William Saliba. The thing is that they wanted Sven Botman but Sven Botman is uh, going to Newcastle because you know um, Lille have agreed a fee with uh, Newcastle of 37 million euros for Sven Botman so they can't get Sven Botman now apparently. Sven Botman is actually that centre back which Lille signed to replace Gabriel Magalhas by the way and Newcastle are actually making some really good signings they, they signed even Nick Pope so why is this conundrum like William Saliba is not leaving why are still the publications picking up these kind of news and you know we are reporting on it this just does not make sense anyways let's talk about Julian Lawrence well he's already opened up about the whole Arsenal saga transfer saga where exactly are we uh, headed he says only paperwork and a medical pending for Gabriel Jesus deal to Arsenal Arsenal confident of signing Rafinha, Arsenal keen on Lisandro Martinez. The thing is that all the Arsenal targets that Arsenal have already, you know, finalised and shortlisted, they are really serious about it. The club is happy that a serious club is coming to buy their talent, would want to pay a good amount of money. It's not, you know, they are getting what they want. And a good kind of player is going to Arsenal, which is making a lot of sense. Competition is there. I'm not saying competition is not there for every player that Arsenal are signing, but the seriousness of spending that much amount and getting to uh, getting the player to agree for the project, it it is making a lot of sense in a lot of directions, which is actually working well for Arsenal. Will it work well in terms of the productivity? That only can be seen when the season starts. But apparently, yes, it is working, and we really, really need to be excited as to what the transfer window holds for us. Also, David Onsen says that there is a sense around the situation and uh, among other teams interested in Rafinha that Arsenal are now firm favourites. Arsenal are ready to enhance their proposal. Uh, there is optimism at Arsenal that they have manoeuvred into a strong position. Because, yeah, we, we'll get into it. But first, let's talk about Takehiro Tomiyasu, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he was. Uh, he actually went to his former club, Avispa Fukuoka, Actually, they lost 3-1 to uh, San Frecce Hiroshima in the J1 League earlier uh, today. And the club had actually honored his visit with a banner dedicated to him. If you can see Tomiyasu, there was a banner there. And not only that, Tomiyasu actually uh, 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 you know, implemented some training drills for the youth teams of Avispa Fukuoka. If you can see here, yes, he was actually teaching modern football to... Uh, uh, to the to the young kids, you can see uh, Takeru Tomiyasu teaching the modern day football. Uh, he says that I thought I could convey modern football by teaching them exactly what I am learning now. So that is so good from Takehiro Tomiyasu, man, isn't it? It's really nice. It, it is really nice. 
But let's move on with, uh, with, with, with the news that we actually have. It is going to be super interesting. Now let's talk about Lisandro Martinez. Now Arsenal, according to Ryan Taylor Sport, Arsenal remain in dialogue in, with Ajax over a deal for Lisandro Martinez. There's a sense of an offer in the region of £40 million pounds could be enough to alter Ajax's stance on the sale. With Arsenal confident, the player would be open to moving to the Emirates Stadium. But Rafinha deal also was opened up about Ryan, by Ryan Taylor Sport. He says, Rafinha is now a priority to Arsenal, who are expected to return with an improved offer once they have tied up the remaining formalities with Jesus and his representatives. Uh, after Man City gave them permission to discuss terms with the player. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Also, David Onsen says that further conversations are believed to be scheduling with Rafinha's representatives as Arsenal look to secure a deal. Having already seen one offer rejected last week, Arsenal are ready to enhance their proposal in the hope it brings them closer to an agreement. Now, you may ask, would, well, Rafinha actually... Uh, uh, Rafinha uh, would be going to Barcelona. He wants to. He wanted to go to Barcelona, things like that. But it looks like David Onsen has confirmed that Rafinha is fine and open to come to Arsenal. Yes, this is what he tweeted out. He says Arsenal are set to intensify their efforts for Rafinha. It is thought Rafinha is open to the potential move. Rafinha is open to the potential move. Now that was fantastic. Fantastic, yes. Rafinha is open to come to Arsenal. That's what you would want to hear. But here's a here's a thing. Well, uh, PGM All Chief uh, Mike Riley has stepped down, and Howard Webb has actually come on. Uh, well, Manchester United would be excited about Howard Webb coming back. You know, getting on the penalties, man. Getting on the penalties for sure. Anyways, now I already uh, I think already I've covered this, but still it is uh, 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 you know relayed by Phil Hay. He says Leeds United are increasingly serious about club Bruges Charles de Ketelé, CDK from um, you know MG MGH's uh, career mode, Schalke, with Arsenal stepping up interest in Rafinha. Well, Phil Hay says that viewed as a forward in the market for a winger too if Rafinha leaves. So if Rafinha leaves. Leeds United will be in the market to buy a winger as well. That has been confirmed by Phil Hay. So that confirms a lot of things, doesn't it? It should, by the way. It's not that I'm trying to convince uh, all the Arsenal fans who are watching this episode. It's up to you to get convinced or not. I'm, I'm very much convinced with all the news that is actually coming in. Because yes, uh, David Onsen says Rafinha wants to join Arsenal. already mentioned it, so we'll not be covering that again. So that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Rafinha is definitely getting done. Don't worry about it. Let's just talk about more other signings, shall we? Uh, Lisandro Martinez next. Uh, with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.